Looks like we've got some rain in the forecast later this week. Yeah, it looks like as we end the year, we'll end out on a rainy note. Uh, you're going to need the rain gear getting uh, to your New Year's Eve events if you're going to be heading out and about. In the meantime, looks great for the rest of our Sunday. We're going to take our high above that. Going to get close to the upper 40s and some areas in the lower 50s for today. Right around 50 or so getting into Monday. And as we head toward New Year's Eve itself, we will be uh, looking at the rain developing as we head through the afternoon. We'll get toward the evening and the overnight. Some shower activity and off and on as we head through New Year's Day itself. All right, Stephanie's here. We're checking out the power of the forecast. Got Christmas in there. I air. know, and it looks like uh, it's not going to be that white. <laughs> we, <laughs> we might get a little bit of snow mixing in, Melinda, as we uh, head through the uh, end of that storm period. Some folks north and west, you might get a little bit more uh, in terms of the snowfall, particularly at the onset later on today. But it looks like we'll see a high today near 42. Tomorrow's high near 36. Again, rain. That should be ending as we head toward Wednesday evening for Christmas night. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we'll see things clear out rather nicely. We'll get our temps are getting back closer to normal. Normally around 45 this time of the year, so we'll get to those lower 40s in the Friday and Saturday. But again, the rain will be developing today, so if you're going to head out on the roads, you do need to uh, keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Use some extra care and caution, get some time. Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much. The news continues. Stay right here. Well, Steph, are you brave enough to stand there and keep your hand on a car for oh, six days? Oh, I'd be asleep by the time it was over. <laughs> not worth that much to me, I guess. No, not at all. But some folks are into that. We're going to be into some nice temperatures, too, Great. as we get toward the end of the year. All right, let's get to the power of the forecast once again. Stephanie? All right, looks like, again, that rain's going to be moving in as we head through the afternoon. We'll continue to see it through the overnight and through a good portion of the early uh, half of the day on Christmas Day. May mix with a little bit of snow at times off and on through there, but not a big snow event for us. Satellite with the radar composite, we're having some cloud cover there. There is some rain that is mainly down to our south and west. And you can see some areas even getting a little bit of a wintry mix where the temps are cold enough to support that. And back in the portions of southern uh, West Virginia, looking at even cold enough to support a little bit of uh, snowfall potential for them. So we're going to keep that in mind. Rain moves in for today. We'll see uh, highs only in the lower 40s as we head toward tonight. Clouds and rain out there. Lows uh, down to 34 to 38 degrees. And getting into Christmas Day itself. Rain and maybe some snow mixing in at times. We'll see temps ranging through the middle 30s. Some areas getting into the lower 30s. So that's kind of what's going to determine if you're going to get any of that snowfall. Let's take a break from the rush hour report. We'll be back in just a few moments. I cannot believe these temperatures now in the 40s and the 50s. We're almost into January and I feel know. like spring. It does feel definitely like springtime temps. Normally about uh, 45 this time of the year, uh, Linda. But we're going to be near 58, 60 wow, as we that's try incredible. to finish out the year. So <laughs> lots of changes. Let's check things out on Almanac and uh, see what's happening uh, for us. Uh, over our weekend, it wasn't too bad. Kind of seasonal, though. Uh, five, uh, 45 was the high yesterday at Reagan National. Normally, again, about 44. And the record for the day is 75. We're not going to reach that. But as we head toward, uh, again, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, we will be looking at potential for attempts getting at least into the mid, if not some areas seeing the upper 50s. That's something we'll be looking forward to. Uh, getting into the record lows, not looking like that. We'll probably stay uh, closer to the uh, 20s in some areas, really outlying suburbs, 30s as you head through the uh, overnight. Checking out satellite and radar composite, you can see us here in Washington. Uh, most of the clouds just in the northern suburbs and well to our north, down in the southeast. Things are nice and clear. Do have high pressure in control there. And back out to the west, that's where all the stormy conditions are. In fact, folks in California, we're seeing some of the snow up in the mountainous regions. Also getting a disturbance moving in now to the north central states. Around the Great Lakes region, going to be looking for a cloudy day. And up in the northeast, the last of whatever precipitation was near us is uh, heading on out. So we're going to keep that in mind for the next day or so. It should be nice and dry, but things will be changing as we head toward New Year's Eve. So future cast by this evening, again, maybe just a few high clouds out there overall we're going to be in great shape by Monday morning we'll see a nice looking uh, day with plenty of sunshine getting into the afternoon I still seasonal not going to warm up just yet probably uh, getting into the mid 40s once again for Monday and by Monday evening we'll see again a chance for uh, maybe a few sprinkles but again the uh, steadier rain likely coming coming uh, Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday evening and into Tuesday overnight uh, so if you have your New Year's Eve plans that's what you can look forward to you might have to take the rain gear with you as well uh, satellite and radar again a little bit closer as you can see just a few clouds starting to form as we continue into the uh, daytime hours and continuing mid-afternoon we'll be seeing our highs are getting into the mid 40s so we'll keep the high near 46 here a little cooler back in Pittsburgh 37 Buffalo 35 Detroit Chicago 40 today 59 in Des Moines so some of this warm air is going to be coming our way St. Louis will be 58 today we may see 58 coming into Tuesday so we'll look ahead to that as we uh, kind of prepare for uh, whatever plan to have uh, for New Year's Eve and in a New Year's Day, it's quiet or heading out. 
out you need the rain gear in just kind of enjoy some uh, nice warm weather lows tonight make it down to the uh, mid 20s particularly in the outlying suburbs north and west of town inside the beltway you'll likely get closer to 30 for the overnight low and we'll see a high again near 46 for our monday but then things start to change getting into tuesday jacksonville will be at 71 for tomorrow if you're heading out of town down to charleston 66 so feeling kind of spring-like here's the forecast for today it's gonna be partly sunny 43 to 47 heading in toward tonight again we'll keep it uh, partly cloudy yeah, we are going to get some rain. So if you're going to be traveling by car today down to the south along 95 corridor, uh, anywhere around there, you're going to be running into the weather. It's going to be heading our way, uh, coming that way. If you're traveling northbound up toward, uh, let's say, Philly or New York, or even Boston, you're going to be in good shape. Uh, you'll beat the rain out that way. So keep that in mind. In the meantime, best time to start travel at any rate is going to be this morning. You'll see mainly cloud cover. Won't really see the rain moving until uh, sometime later this afternoon, uh, becoming a little heavier and steadier as we head toward the evening and particularly uh, into the overnight hours. But temps will be uh, right around the 40s or lower 40s as we head through the morning. Uh, not changing too much this afternoon, right about 42 and about 38 for the overnight low tonight. And then we'll see some rain possibly mixing with the change in the snow before it all ends as we head through Christmas Day. Not in terms of any big accumulations, but again, something to, to think about to try to get your white Christmas in. But overall, that's how things are going to be looking. If you're traveling, just use some care and caution for this holiday. We'll be right back after this break. Stay tuned. Welcome back. I'm Stephanie Stallworth. Top weather stories for the day. It's going to be pretty busy weather-wise. We have temps 20 degrees above average up in the northeast. Severe weather potential in the nation's midsection. North central states dealing with snow and some windy conditions heading all the way down into portions of Texas for today. Talking about the windy conditions, you can see these different lines here. These are isobars, lines of equal uh, pressure. And uh, where those get closer together, that's where the windy conditions are. So we are looking at wind uh, whipping down into Texas. Also windy conditions up here as you head up toward the Great Lakes region. Uh, we're going to be seeing uh, that storm system that's here out in the west beginning to make its move as well over to uh, where the Great Lakes as we head toward the next day or so. In the meantime, plenty of cloud cover around the country. You can see all socked in with clouds from Texas all the way up to the uh, Canadian border. And we're looking at several areas of precipitation here as well. Uh, some of it actually in the form of snow. We'll talk about things a little bit closer as we uh, head up toward the north central states. Uh, heading up toward Montana, mainly a cloudy sort of a day, but we're looking at a little bit of snowfall around Billings and Glasgow. Cold enough temperatures for you there. And also down toward Grand Junction, getting a little bit more uh, of the uh, steadier snowfall. But that's going to be moving a little bit out of your region over toward Denver as we head through the rest of the afternoon. Uh, otherwise, out along the west coast, Seattle, you're still getting some of that precipitation as well as folks in Portland. A quieter day, although still a little bit cloudy uh, through portions of California. Here we go as we uh, head through the uh, travel trouble spot. Late today, we do have potential for some strong to severe thunderstorms uh, anywhere from Kansas City down toward Tulsa, Oklahoma. Folks traveling Interstate 70 around this region between Missouri and Kansas, you want to be on the watch for that and keep an eye on the sky and see what's happening. Uh, even uh, traveling uh, down along these interstates here, including just a portion of 35. Otherwise, traveling uh, over along the uh, Tulsa border with Arkansas, you're looking at potential just for some uh, regular thunderstorms, but still those contain uh, lightning and different things like that, even sometimes hail. So difficult travel in that part of the country in addition to the snowfall that we're seeing uh, up in the north central states. Around the Great Lakes region, you're also looking at precipitation, looking at moving through Chicago and heading out toward Indiana and Fort Wayne. You may be seeing a little bit of snow shower activity for the afternoon. Uh, heading up toward uh, the rest of the Great Lakes region, look at this from Marquette, headed down toward Madison and Chicago. Again, everything kind of made its move over to the east over the past six hours. We're finally finishing up with it uh, in Michigan as we head toward the evening, getting into the overnight. Things should be quieting down for you. New York City, let's check forecast up in the northeastern region. By noontime today, you're looking at temps right around the lower 60s, getting to the mid and upper 60s in the afternoon. So a very nice day in New York City, 63 at 5 for the afternoon commute. Around 8 o'clock tonight, you're looking at the middle 50s. Average high this time of year, 47 in New York City. We're already at 47 right now, so again, you're going to be warming up uh, rather nicely as we head over the next couple of hours. So a good afternoon for uh, maybe a, an afternoon stroll after you get off of work or maybe go sit out and have yourself with something outside, out fresco. Albany, New York, you're at 56. You're at 60 in Buffalo, 68 Chicago, Charleston, already at 72. And we're looking at warm temps. Uh, all the way down through D.C. and